We went to Southampton with stimulation and crashed the plane. Here's what happened. I survived! <laughs> So a few months ago, we went to the University of Southampton Malaysia at Johor to try out flight simulation in their aerospace lab with the assistance of Dr. Karim Mashari, an aeronautics and astronautics lecturer from Southampton Malaysia who gave us a preview of their flight simulator. This is the software. The software is X-Plane 11. So together with the software, we have the control yoke, throttle quadrant, and we have the rudder pedals. So the students will have the opportunity to use this flight simulator to learn about how the aircraft can be controlled. There are several cool features you get with the X-Plane 11 simulation. For starters, you get to choose the type of aircraft to fly, from a Boeing 737 and a Sikorsky S-76 to a Space Shuttle Orbiter. But Dr. Karim typically lets students use a Cessna Skyhawk for their first try. The software also lets you choose which airport you can fly from and land at. You can put in the location name or the airport's ICAO code to get the airport directly. To get the best of the simulation, you also have the option to pick weather conditions, whether it's clear sky or stormy weather. And you can also choose whether to fly during the day or night time. Ready for takeoff. For maneuver, the students can use the rudder pedal. To release the brake, I can press B. Our parking brake has been released, the aircraft is ready for takeoff. This aircraft has a single piston engine, so it has one throttle uh, lever. To so push the throttle forward, you can see that the aircraft starts to move. So use the pedal to keep the aircraft on the center line of the runway. So once you are comfortable, push the throttle to its full range. Once the aircraft has attained its takeoff speed, which is around 80 knots, so the aircraft will fly straight away. So in the air, the students can use the control yoke to maneuver the aircraft. So to climb, pull the yoke towards you and to descend, push the yoke towards the ground. If you want to descend, you will need to reduce the throttle. So hopefully you can fly the aircraft. After a quick lesson, we put our flying skills to the test and what we can tell you, it's definitely easier said than done. It's difficult and tiring needing to maintain the plane in its position. And the type of aircraft and weather condition also played a big part in how we maneuver the plane. Despite the clear skies, the weather was very windy, so we had to deal with some resistance controlling the aircraft. At the end of the flight, Dr. Karim rated our landing skills and how quickly we responded to the environment. Out of 10, maybe 7. Okay, That's not bad. okay Sean, I probably give 6. <laughs> okay. Because of the rough landing, I'll probably give you five. <laughs> okay. In practice, you, are, you already give headache to engineers. I think I'll give you seven also. This. Okay. <laughs>